Hello, yes, it's me again. And yes, I have the same top on because this is all trying to be filmed in one day. One day, I don't know how we're going to do it, but if not, then I'll finish off tomorrow. This is probably going to be the last one I'm going to do right now. But this haul is miscellaneous from the Salvation Army thrift store. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with that. I saw these cute coffee cups. Not that I need any more coffee cups, but I could not pass these up. I thought I've got to get these and it's with a purpose in mind. But these are the cutest. They were a dollar ninety seven. So they were actually ninety seven cents a piece. And this is what they look like, guys. And it's coffee time. Aren't these just the cutest? And they're clean inside. And they have their little spoons. So I'm gonna use these for a session that I'm gonna do. And these are gonna be our coffee cups. So those are so cute. Then I have, I don't know what it is with me and ducks. I don't know. But last year, the year before I had ducks out in the yard. So this year I wanna have ducks again. And I saw this and it is just so cute. And I thought I had to get this so that I can line them at the front of the house. Cause I got my other ducks down on the porch. And that my the yard is a work in progress. It really is. This house, the yard suffered quite a bit, so it may take me a little time to get that under control. But these were two ninety seven, so I got them for a um, dollar fifty. Now you tell me that these are not cute. And I have never been a duck person, but for some reason, I have the ducks that I'm finding. And so I'm just going to take them and put them out in front of, in the yard and, uh, you know, try to make the yard look nice. You know, people come by, they see your yard, and I see some yards, they just, like, people don't even try to do anything to their yard. And I'm like, no, that's a reflection on you. So please try to do something. Okay. I saw this and I thought, gosh, that... Something's probably missing. Probably doesn't have all the pieces to it. And this is called Bacon Boss. Crispy bacon right from your microwave. Uh, is a PBA free, dishwasher safe. Um, there was nothing missing out of this. It's a container where you put your bacon in the microwave and it comes. And this was $5.97. So actually, I only paid three dollars for this. They were asking six, and this is what it looks like. So I thought I'm going to grab that. I might give that away as a gift. I'm not for sure yet. Okay, moving right along, we're going to get. I did that. Um, we're going to hit. I guess we'll go to the Dollar Tree. Try to do as much as I can. I finally found, and I think I found some of these before, but. I got some stories to tell y'all. But anyway, I think I may have some more of these. I'm not for sure. But I got these boards. I've been seeing everybody haul. These are the Cooking Concept Bamboo Cutting Boards. And when I was going through the line, the guy was like, Oh my God. He said, These are nice. Where'd you find these? I said, They were back there on the shelf. These were the last three. And I grabbed them. So those were mine. I've seen some of the ladies haul the Sonics. Um... Ocean and ocean water and cherry limonade, lemonade, limonade, whatever you want to call for the summer. It's 10 freezer bars in here, so I hope they're good. Um, this is the first time I've seen these Lysol Hypergenic uh, Atlantic Fresh Scents to go in your toilet. So I got two of those. I needed another bucket, mopping bucket or cleaning bucket, so I grabbed that. That's another story. I've got so much I gotta tell you guys. It's not funny. Okay, I skipped this. This is a brand new wallet. It's from Nine and Company. This was from the Salvation Army. This was, I do believe, oh, it was $2.25. So it was half of that. Like what, a dollar and something? So brand new, never used before. 
I don't have many black wallets, so I'm glad I found that. Uh, let's move. Oh, I can't wait to get this done. Okay, I've got this Argyle Avocado Pure Vegetable Oil Soap from Bolero. Seen the ladies hauling that. And then I got the Coconut Oil and Sea Salt Bolero. I saw these cute keychains, which I've seen many of the ladies haul. This is Pom Pom Clip. This is in the pink. And this is in the kind of um, aqua. So I got those. I got the one in the purple. Then I found these um, Spa uh, Natural Coconut Bath Bombs, 5 ounce. I got this one. And as it says, it's coconut. This one is strawberry. That's what that one looks like. Oh, Jesus. Okay, that's from a whole nother store. I got this Ar 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 Argan Oil Lustra Hair Moisturizing Triple Strength. This is an 8 ounce bottle. I've seen many of the ladies hauling this. So I will try that. Uh, setting spray LA set your makeup on the go perfect for travel and this is clear that's the first time I've seen this so I grabbed two of those and it says it's new I grabbed me these uh, no slip shoe liners this is the first time I've, I've purchased these so I'm gonna see how those work got two of those and then, I am so glad to be getting this stuff all because I got to get stuff out of the way. And then I got these lip gloss, these pineapple lip gloss. These are cute. And then I was in my local grocery store, uh, Kroger's or Baker's, however you want to call it. And you buy two and save. And I do like swab lotion. And this is the Almond Plus Shea Butter Lotion. And you get two in a pack. They were, oh God, it was, they were five something, but I got them for two dollars and some cents. So I thought this was a really good buy. This, and like I said, this has been a while ago because I've been letting this stuff just sit. Okay, I'm going to end this haul right here. I still got a couple of bags. And I just, I'm going to let it go for another day. But um, just a lot of things been going on, you know, with my job and things. And, you know, as you get older, there are just some things you, you realize. Um, things kind of slow down a little bit. Sometimes they don't. But there are some decisions I made that I need to, to just to help me. To function and one of those things were uh, when I moved in the house it was like the house is it's it's bigger than where we were so and there's no carpet on the floor so that means I have to mop I have to wax and um, my my color in the scheme in here is gray it's gray throughout the house it's real bright and so you know that first week I was like mopping floors and I was like I really don't want to wax and so, you know, um, I just start thinking, and I've said this for years, I said that I'm just kind of tired of cleaning. It's not that I'm lazy, I'm just tired. I get off from work, I come in, I'm up at five, I get back home, there's things I got to do. And so, I, you know, I was praying, I said, Lord, I really want somebody to come in and clean. I'm just, you know, there's some things I'm willing to cut back on. And one of those things is... Um, Dollar Tree shopping. I don't mind going looking. So I decided that I was going to take the money that I would normally go in and spend at the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to put that towards um, having um, a lady come in and clean the house for me. So that I have already agreed to it. And starting next month, I'm going to have that started out to help me. Now it's only at the end of each month or every other month. But there are some decisions you just have to make. 
And that is one definitely I need to make. Because when I come in, and I've got about nine floors that, you know, when I count the, the, ooh, the sunroom, the living room, the dining room, the kitchen. That's four floors downstairs. Then you got to count the stairs. So that's five. Then Juliana's room, the hallway, my room, and the bathroom. That's nine floors. And then to turn around and wax those floors, no. No, I can't. So I've just come to a conclusion that um, I can still go and look at things. I don't necessarily have to buy them because you have to prioritize stuff. What's important and what's not important. And what's important is I like for my house to look nice. And when you're too tired to come in and do that, then you got to begin to think of other avenues. So that is one avenue for me that if I cut back on going out and spending money on things, that can go towards my um, house cleaning. So now how long that will go in, I don't know. But at this point or stage in my life, I'm ready for it. I'm ready for someone to come in and do that for me. So that takes away from me going out. And I call it a splurge. When I go to the Dollar Tree, that's a splurge. That's not a really a need. Now, if I see something I like, of course you can get it. But um, I just feel like right now that's important to me. So that's what I'm going to do. So that, that is one of the things I'm going to do. And then, um, you know, in this move, it has taught me something. Guys, I had so much stuff that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. I totally forgot I had. And when I began to look in boxes and see stuff, I was like, you know what? This is crazy. An addiction for me. I mean, I was buying stuff and it was just going in boxes, going in boxes, going in boxes, going in boxes. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do a DIY. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. But it's all in boxes. So I got all these boxes with all this stuff in here. So what I'm going to start doing... I am going to get rid of it. it. It pays. I mean, this stuff is good. I can give it for birthdays. I can give it for wedding gifts or whatever. But it has to come a point where you say no more. If you're not going to use that stuff within, I would say, a month's time, you don't need to be buying it. That's, that's it just showed me. Because I was, all these boxes and crafts and stuff, I'm like, Deborah. What is wrong with you? That's why I said I was going to take that money and use it for my cleaning of my house. Because that's more. That, I know, will be get used. So you just, you know, you have to see yourself. And you have to acknowledge when you see yourself. Because I can keep running to the dollar store or the thrift store. You know, thrift store to me is more usable than some of the things I'm getting at the dollar tree. I'm saying the dollar store. But the dollar tree. So, you know what? You just have to be real with it. You, I've got stuff I could, my walls could be covered. They could be covered with decor. But, you know, come on. So, the stuff is nice to go look at if you want to buy somebody a gift. It's good. House cleaning things. And even some of that house cleaning stuff I purchased, I would never buy it again. And I watch some of the videos where they say the 10 worst things you could buy or the five best things. And you know what? It pays to watch those. It pays to watch those shows. It pays. Okay, I was going to show you two things that I used today, but the other one's downstairs. That's another thing. This house has stairs. I got to get used to walking up and down the stairs. It's this drink. And I don't know if any of you have ever heard of this drink, but it's... Uh, I can't even see it. But anyway, they had them at the store. They are originally $2.99, 75% off, and it was a dollar. This was the, this is the name of it right here. This wasn't too bad. And it is, how many ounces was this? 16 ounces. It's a taste you have to get used to. But if you've ever seen this before, give it a try if you're daring. But it was a good drink, and I have another one, uh, which is the can't remember what it was. But anyway, my minutes are getting ready to end and I don't want to have to record again. So be blessed. I'll be back in hopefully next week. But know this, God loves you and you're blessed. Bye-bye.